Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Okay, so today I've got something that was quite puzzling uh, concerning this piece of land that we own next to our house. Apparently there has been some kind of land and building tax law passed this year in Thailand. And don't panic, it won't affect most guys. It really only affects people with property and land worth over 50 million baht. However, if you do own additional properties, you could be liable to tax. And if you own land that is unutilized, which this is, you could also be liable to pay some kind of tax. So this land does have a bit of a backstory. And so before I continue, we'll just go over that briefly now. The land where our house is built and the land in question here in front of me was one piece of land. Now the owner of this land got divorced and it was split down the middle between himself and his wife. We bought the land where we house is now from the husband, no problems. The wife's bit of land, however, was low and there was a small stream running through it. So it was quite worthless. However, she wasn't happy with the fact we paid more for her ex-husband's piece of land. So she upped the price massively and we refused to go through with the purchase. She didn't like this and she was threatening to put a pig farm on the land. Uh, we laughed at this and nothing was heard from her for a good few years and time went by. We proceeded to build the house on the land bought from the husband and then we heard soil trucks on the land I'm standing in front of now. We spoke to the owner who said she is going to divide the land into six plots and put three-story townhouses on them which would obviously affect our life massively and our view. After much thought, I offered her a price. Now, at the land office, we were told that because the land was divided into six plots, there has to be a public right of way to each of the plots, which means a good proportion of the land was not ours. It was a roadway, but she still wanted the same price. We refused to pay that. She would not budge. Now, my wife's father is a top policeman and she gave him a quick phone call. He, in turn, spoke to the owner of the land. And I don't know what happened or what he said, but within three minutes, she was all smiles and she knocked 100,000 off the price and the deal went through. So yeah, quite a story. But how does this affect me? Well, it won't affect most of you guys, as I said before, but if you do have large swathes of vacant, unutilized land, you could well be in for a bill. Well, from what I've read, there is no exemption or threshold in terms of what your land is worth. So it doesn't matter if it's worth one baht or if it's worth 100 million baht. If it's left vacant and it's not utilized, you are going to be liable to pay something. So this is worth about a million baht and I would have to pay 0.3%, which is uh, 3,000 baht. But for every three years it's left unutilized or vacant, you have to pay an additional 0.3% until it reaches a threshold of 3%, which is 30,000 baht. So yeah, this is why I'm having a little peruse and uh, thinking out loud on camera just to sort of uh, get my options together. She did spend a small fortune here. If you could see from the photo at some places, she put down three meters of road soil and it's a one and a half rye stretch of land. And it wasn't all plain sailing with the land we bought from the husband we did have to put some soil down but nothing compared to this so I've got two options really I could uh, either incorporate this land into what we already own we'd have to go to the land office make it one area I'm not sure if I'd have to build a wall or some sort of barrier around to incorporate it into a single estate or grow something I suppose because if you have agricultural land or the land is utilized you're pretty much exempt and uh, I'd like to do it have a project grow my own vegetables and all that sort of stuff but yeah as you've seen with the land next door I've got enough on my plate and I'm sort of dancing around trying to keep things alive in the dry season so yeah I thought of growing on here is not an option and as I said before there's three meters of road soil so my only real way of doing anything on here would be to have concrete rings with decent soil in it and uh, grow some kind of lime tree or something like that. But I think I'm gonna have to stick with the uh, option of incorporating this area or land into what we already own. But that does involve a lot of bureaucracy. We've dealt with the land office before. They'd have to come in and change the land post, get rid of these six plots that pretty much run down the side of this wall and incorporate it into one estate. But as we are, on the land a bit of advice for anybody who is developing 
or uh, thinking of building, uh, especially if you're going to build a long stretch of wall. This is nearly 100 meters. Make sure you check the positioning of your lamppost. You might have to get the land office in. But uh, we put a lot of soil down at the back and the lamppost was moved. And we ended up in the hands of the lady who was threatening pig farms and three story townhouses. The land office guys were here and they said basically she has the power to ask us to remove this wall or they could work out some kind of payment. They knew how much the land was worth from their system. And yeah, she took the money, which wasn't a surprise, but to make sure you're not in that same situation, I would just pay a few thousand baht to get your uh, boundary checked. I do know guys that have encroached a lot more than that and had to pay quite a hefty bill. Well, we've got some beautiful clouds. I think they're wishbone clouds or fishbone clouds, whatever. Cirrus, I think is the name. Very high up, but no rain clouds. And we had no rain here since the last video. So it's coming on for nearly six weeks, I think now. But I did have ideas when we first bought this to, I don't know, put some kind of pond or lake in a lake house and grow something at the front here. And the terrace where I usually speak from is just over the side of that wall. And uh, we're gonna put a gate here and sort of incorporate it many moons ago. But the 2008 crash happened, the pound tumbled, other things were going on as well. So it just ended up really being an expensive buffer to stop people building up against the wall. Yeah, this video isn't a breakdown of the actual building and land tax here because it's not gonna affect most of you. I'm really just uh, sort of uh, putting my thoughts on camera as it were. But if you are interested uh, in knowing more about it, I'll leave some links in the description below. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit hungry now. So I think it's time for some food. Yeah, I've been a good boy. I haven't been eating out. No more gorps, crispy pork belly, just uh, pumpkin soup for the last two days. Well, that tasted a little bit too healthy for my liking, so we might be back on the moo gorps tomorrow. Yeah, a few things to think about, but not a big deal, really. And I heard today that the government is actually reducing the tax by 90% uh, because of the COVID crisis, so I've got a bit of time on my hands. Yeah, so quite a few fun and games over the years here. And uh, But I'd like to say for every bad experience I've had, uh, I've had 20, 30 great ones. So bear that in mind, but the story was the abridged version of getting this land and there were some serious shenanigans going on. Uh, we had a scheme of six, well, there was a group of six or seven people that were trying to pressurize us into buying that land for 10 times the original price, uh, involving the owner, a uh, bogus owner, and the land agency woman who was selling the land on behalf of the husband and wife, two bogus government officials, and two women that just seemed to turn up with clipboards and look like they had some sort of authority. And yeah, I mean, it all was channeled towards my wife. I didn't know what was going on and uh, she dealt with them. She's a tough cookie. She studied law and dropped her father's name a few times. And yeah, we didn't see them again until the pig farm incident. Yeah, that sort of raised its head after we were pressurized into buying it. But yeah, it's all water under the bridge. And I actually do see the land agency woman who was involved in the scheme in town occasionally. And I just give her a wry smile just to let her know that I know, that you know, that I know, that you know, that I know. Anyway, on that note, it's time for Phrase of the Day. Yay! Okay, welcome to Phrase of the Day. Now I've had a show because yeah, it was a bit unacceptable, the beard growth, but yes, the video was about land today. And I know there are some guys who are planning to build and looking for land. So you might want to know how much land costs and how big it is. So if you want to know the size of the land, you would ask, Ti Quang Tao Dai Cup. Is that correct? Ti Quang Tao Dai Ka. Okay. If you want to know how much the land costs, you would say Ti Raka Tao Dai Ka. Is that correct? Ti Raka Tao Dai Ka. Okay, yeah. I mean, I've used this quite often. I was checking out some prices of land around this area for some subscribers. And yeah, I used those two phrases. And you can too. 
Additional groups of foreigners will be allowed to enter the kingdom under strict regulations. These include migrant workers, elite visa holders, medical tourists, film crew, convention exhibitors and select business visitors. Now, although a date has been set for this, those interested should contact their local Thai embassy. Now, although Thailand is working on its own vaccine, the Thai government has set aside 600 million baht for a vaccine currently under trial at Oxford University. Now, production of this UK-based vaccine is likely to start before the end of the year, after promising initial trials amongst volunteers. Thailand's tourism minister is fighting for a variation of the now-shelf travel bubble scheme. He stated that domestic Thai tourism wasn't enough to drive the flailing economy and suggested a programme of safe cities and provinces from the countries originally involved in the scheme. Now, high-end tourists would be targeted first if this programme is approved. Well, nothing to write home about really in terms of getting back into the country. And after the Egyptian affair last week, there seems to be increased paranoia with a a new poll out suggesting that 95% of Thais do not want foreign arrivals in the near future. So we'll see how this evolves uh, in the coming weeks and months. A couple of things before I go. Now, I know foreigners can't own land and I think there is a time to rent and a time to buy here in Thailand. And if you want my opinion on this, check the discussion in the video that's up there somewhere uh, to find out where I stand on that issue. And also thank you for your comments. I do answer them all if I can. And uh, I had a few about my personal situation, which is fair enough. I mean, there's a fat bloke rolling around in a house in Northern Thailand. Yes, uh, I am married. I've been married for 20 years. We have a daughter who studies in Pisnalo, so my wife spends quite a lot of time there taking care of her. But to be honest, yeah, after 20 years, it's quite nice to have a bit of a break from each other. I'm not worried she's gonna hear this because she doesn't really uh, support the YouTube channel. She thinks I'm wasting my time. And even more worryingly, she doesn't get the whole Bob issue. And he's looking a bit sad at the moment. It's nearly watering time. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that works out. Could be a game changer. Anyway, on that note, I'll say stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.